Hello everyone, so in this video I'm be covering how to uh, use uh, JVT authentication uh, with uh, Go. On the front end I have uh, React as you can see. And uh, so basically uh, I have authenticated some users, right? And here I have Firestore database. There's already some uh, data available. So for example now, if I run uh, the uh, React side, I have uh, this one, right? I will log in with Google. So you can see we're logged in, and here I have different kind of recipes, right? can try to add uh, it will you can see it has been working I think this is the latest carrot cake but that is basically not what I want uh, I want to actually get the JVT like token from the react side as you can see I uh, use selector from mm, the st store TypeScript and I pass it in my uh, interface the token and it's being actually passed in here. It's important to add a header. But in this case, I'm not uh, using any authentication. It instantly is being passed in to any of these uh, CRUD operations. So this is how we should uh, continue. I'm going to be using, or is it, in the server side, I already created middleware. In the middleware, I just added the course function uh, to allow course. And as you can see, it's in the beginning of uh, runtime base it should be appended before and here I set routers uh, one thing to note with Firebase you have to pass in two uh, different kind of uh, uh, use two different uh, Firebase packages uh, one is uh, Fire Client the client, another is uh, Fire Auth but for in these both cases uh, we use mm, 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 we use the same uh, account key. Both are practically the same, but they act upon a different level. One is through authentication, other one is Firebase database. As you can see, uh, here is Firestore client for the date. Uh, database interaction and here you have get off client for authentication so so first thing that we have to do is go into mm -mm -mm. not config cmp no not connect API in controller. You have to go to controller. And pass in here. Yeah. Router. Use. For it to be used always. So here we pass in a function. I place C in context. And inside here, MD to access the middleware I haven't imported yet, but just gonna create. Let's name it as JVT of and inside here D. 
So now in the middleware, uh, uh, middleware. Oh, yeah. let's just paste add it here. Check how is it called. So now let's take off JVT client auth client gin uh, handle punk now it should actually return so here luckily uh, in uh, gauland i can i prefer that over vs code but it's obviously your own choice so now you can see it uh, will use it and this condition will use in uh, uh, be used every time when a request is made of any of these just to be sure like the right uh, uh, users making the request so here I pass in return punk b gin context so because here like you can see it's off and other parentheses c it makes like an inner uh, return statement the first thing that we have to do is define our header. See, request header get authorization token. Here we define a token. Ring. We have to replace of header bearer comma and to one this one I think I have to add, oh yeah I have to add string Hasn't compiled yet. Oh no, it's actually strings. Here as well should be strings. Strings. Replace. Yeah, that's correct. So basically, we replace a better token with a new one. Uh, maybe I can just show shortly in the. In hooks now, component. Bar. Let's see this. Let's take here. Auth token, as I said, like you know, we have it in the state. Oh, yeah, and, and here when we return, we pass in the uh, request, like in add new recipe. And here, like as you can see, it's headers, authorization, bearer, space, and token. So it follows the same principle. ID, token, R. Client verify ID token and check revoked. See, call it token. Is there not nil? If it's not nil, you can just copy paste one section. Yeah, it's gonna block, it has failed, and an abort code, unauthorized and unauthorized, see an abort, so, and otherwise, the set, uh, uh, you're gonna set the token, and just see next. 
text. Okay, this should work. Uh, in writer spec, using uh, yeah any backend language with the uh, Firebase is a little bit overkill, but this is an exception. So now let's run it. Now the front end can still be uh, ran. Now let's check here. I'm going to exit, refresh, login. So let's take vegan. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight records. You can see as well, like with user ID. So, for example, now if I take, let me just put it like that, just for demonstration purposes. Oh, you can see it has been populated. I have some error probably because of the double click. Take some time. But as you can see, it actually started to populate. And if I take, let's take all popular, I'm gonna take this one. Let's slowly add it. Let's see what the console says. Now oh, it crashed. I think because I like as uh, accidentally pressed twice. But now if I press this one, you can see option, it's 204 and post. And here, a new data has been added. With the right user ID, URL, title, rated false. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope you like the video. You learned something new. And uh, see you in the next one. Cheers.